This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Thursday morning. The process for finding Detroit's next top cop is now underway. Chief James White is leaving to become the CEO of the Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network. Now the Police Board of Commissioners will conduct a national search and pick three finalists for Mayor Mike Duggan to consider. Once the Mayor Mike's hits, makes his decision, the person has to be voted on by the Detroit City Council. As of this morning, there is no set date for when Chief White officially leaves. Also underway, voting for the November election. Nearly 800,000 Michiganders have submitted their absentee ballots, and soon early voting will begin across Michigan. New this year, you can choose to join the permanent absentee ballot list. The state provides prepaid postage for your absentee application and ballot, and you can also drop it off at your drop box in your jurisdiction. The ballots are designed so that if they bleed through, it does not touch or come near a voting area on the other side of the ballot. And it will not alter or cancel any vote on the opposite side. To request and track an absentee ballot, go to michigan.gov vote. There you can also learn about your early in-person voting. Meanwhile, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are back in Michigan tomorrow. Trump will hold a roundtable discussion in Oakland County and a rally in Detroit. Harris will also visit Oakland County, Grand Rapids, and Lansing. And then on Saturday, Harris will be here in Detroit. Also, former President Barack Obama will campaign for Harris in Detroit next Tuesday. More mental health services are now available for people living in Detroit. The My Mental Wellness Center offers free faith-based therapy and counseling services throughout the area. Leaders say the center will be able to help everyone from Metro Detroit's diverse community. And how about a little hockey? The Red Wings are home tonight at Little Caesars Arena where they'll host the New York Rangers. The Wings will be looking for revenge after losing to the Rangers 4-1 in New York earlier this week. Puck drops tonight at 7.30. Let's get to Troy now for the next weather forecast and it is a cold one to start this Thursday Troy. Oh yeah even colder this morning Chris than yesterday. We're starting off in the 20s and 30s. Not much of a wind chill that's the good news but because we're not dealing with much wind we're going to have to deal with a little bit of frost. We do warm to our average though going a little warmer than yesterday to a high of 62 degrees with lots of sunshine today and then for tonight temperatures a little bit milder if you're making some evening plans by 6 p.m. We're close to 60 degrees in the upper 50s. We're at 51 by 8 o'clock tonight. Jackets in order, certainly big coats this morning, but a lighter weight jacket later in the afternoon today. And then we're going to continue to warm up over the next few days. Clear skies for the most part as we take you into the next weather future cast. The afternoon today, the afternoon tomorrow, and on through the weekend looking clear, hardly a cloud in the sky. So a beautiful few days in store with some temperatures gradually warming back to where we should be. Our average high for today is 62 in Detroit. That will be the high temperature today. 63 in Lapeer, warming to 60 in Pontiac, 60 in Ann Arbor. Adrian today warming to a high of 60, getting up to 60 in Port Huron. Early morning temperatures tomorrow, chilly again, but not as cold as this morning. We'll be at freezing in Ann Arbor, 37 in Lapeer and Mount Clemens at 38 degrees. Detroit tomorrow morning starting off at 36 degrees. Notice the 60s and close to 70 degree temperatures by the end of the week. Then by the weekend, we're at 71 degrees on your Sunday with rain chances out of the picture all across the board into next week. And Chris, we stay near 70 for a good bit of next week. Back to you. Looks like a nice stretch. Thanks, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.